You know, I've been saying I'm an RFA champion for a while now, even though I'm not. So, uh, you know, to get a, a, a fight on a short notice call four weeks out, and then it be for the middleweight, the elimination, you know, contender bout, you know, it's, uh, it's a good feeling. I, I, I'm going to have that belt. The past couple years I've been out here has been a lot of ups and downs. So to go out there and fight this kid in his hometown and uh, basically beat him up in front of all of his family and friends, it's going to be a good feeling, especially main event on national television. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. What's it like to come out of this camp and have all of those people as a support system around you? It's a good feeling. You know, I'm from a small town, so to come here and uh, be able to, you know, compete with these guys and have them mentor me along the way and help me out and, and you know, just kind of guide me and direct me, it's a good feeling. You know, I feel like these past 10 years are finally paying off. Do you think people realize, like, what you sacrificed to be in the sport? I mean, I remember your Ultimate Fighter run and having to give up, like, basically your whole life for those six weeks and coming from Kentucky and, and making it all the way out here to Vegas. What has that road been like for you? I say this all the time, if, if I knew exactly what what was going to have to happen, I, I, I wouldn't have done it. But I think that's the, you know, like God's not going to reward you unless you, you take big risks. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. I've, since I've been out here, I've been jobless. Me and my wife's both been jobless at the same time. I've had to apply for food stamps at one point. This has not been an easy road. So, you know, to have this, um, this opportunity ahead of me, I plan on capitalizing on it, you know, because this is this is my chance. Um, this is probably the biggest is the biggest fight of my life. This dictates whether I go back to work in a full time job or, or to continue to train and, and grinding out like I am right now. So people have no idea. Like it's been a real struggle. And when I made the show, I gave to move out here. I gave up a federal job. I was making really good money. Moved out here, gave it all up. So you know, sold everything I had, my house, uh, everything, um, my car, my motorcycle. I gave it all up. Now I'm out here and, you know, but I can feel it. It's, it's finally about to start paying off. I, I've been feeling that way for, for a while now. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's emotional for me, you know, because it is a big fight. When it came to that point where you're jobless, how hard was it to make that decision to continue fighting? Well, actually, I got a job at the USC gym now. I'm a coach there. I remember I walked in, I begged for a job. He's like, well, can you teach? I was like, man, I can teach this to anybody. You know, just give me a chance. He gave me a chance and, you know, obviously I've been there for uh, almost two years now. So I've shown my worth. At the same time, my wife didn't have, you know, she was jobless and she just asked God, hey, we supposed to be here? This is on a Friday. If we're supposed to be here, give me a job by Monday. Sunday she had a job. And you know, so and we're still here. So I definitely feel like, you know, it's meant for me to be here and you know, she's actually uh, in real estate now out here and, and she's doing amazing. So things are definitely looking up from a year ago. It's it's been a rough, long road. A lot of people, you know, have no idea, but it, it's it's gonna pay off. I know it's gonna pay off.